Welcome back to our ongoing Droid VPN settings tutorial series. Today we're delving into the world of Droid VPN UDP settings. But before we jump in, if you haven't already, make sure to catch our first video in this series, where we guide you through creating a Droid VPN account. And of course, don't forget to support us by sharing, liking, and subscribing. Let's get started. Step 1. Install Droid VPN. First things first, head to your mobile app store, search for Droid VPN, and download it. Once that's done, launch the app, and you'll find yourself on the home screen. Step 2. Accessing the menu. To access the VPN's menu, locate the hamburger icon in the top left corner of your screen and tap it. Step 3. Setting up account. Within the menu, you'll find an option labeled Account. Click there to set up your account settings. If you already have an account, simply log in with your username and password. If not, check out our previous video to create an account. Step 4. Accessing VPN settings. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of Droid VPN settings. Click on Settings to configure the different protocols. Step 5. Configuring UDP settings. Within the Settings section, look for UDP settings and click on it to proceed. Step 6. UDP port configuration. In the UDP settings, you'll find two sections. The first is UDP port configuration. Here, you can specify remote and local ports or simply leave them as is. If you're unsure about which port to use, enable the auto port scan setting. Step 7. UDP connection modes. Now, let's explore UDP connection mode. There are three modes to choose from. Select the one that suits your needs. For example, if you opt for mode 1, you can further customize it by adjusting T-count and R-count settings. Step 8. Start VPN. Once you've configured your UDP settings to your liking, navigate back to the main screen and hit the Start button to connect to the VPN. Step 9. Explore more in our playlist. But don't stop here. Be sure to check out our playlist for more in-depth tutorials on Droid VPN, including TCP and HTTP headers settings and TCP and HTTP headers proxy settings. Conclusion That concludes our guide to Droid VPN UDP settings. We hope you found this tutorial helpful in optimizing your VPN experience. As always, if you did, show your support by sharing this video, giving it a thumbs up, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable insights. Thanks for tuning in.